In this video, I want to talk about hereditary mitochondrial diseases. So the mitochondria have their own circular DNA, uh, which is mitochondrial DNA, represented mtDNA. And it's located in the matrix of the mitochondria. And um, this DNA is separate from the cell's nuclear DNA. Okay, And uh, mutations in the mitochondrial DNA interrupt normal mitochondrial functions, especially oxidative phosphorylation, which, of course, we're talking about electron transport chain and ATP production. And that's really bad for tissues that make and use lots of ATP. Two key examples are uh, nervous tissue and muscle tissue. And that's actually pretty important. We'll talk more about that momentarily. Okay. Now, um, most mitochondrial diseases are caused by mitochondrial DNA mutations. And uh, mitochondrial DNA actually has a higher um, mutation rate than the cell's nuclear DNA. And also a really important um, thing to know about mitochondrial diseases, diseases is that they exhibit maternal inheritance. Okay, um, What does that mean? Well, that means that if the mother has it, then all of her children will have it. Okay, so pedigrees look something like this. So if we have um, an affected female here, then you'll notice that every single one of her children is going to have it. Now, um, um, affected males do not uh, pass on the, uh, the disease, but affected females pass it on to all of their children. Okay. So, so why is this? Why do um, mitochondrial diseases exhibit maternal inheritance? Okay. Well, it's because all the mitochondria in a, in a zygote comes from the ovum, which of course is, is come, that egg is coming from the mother. Sperm mitochondria, which of course come from the father, um, or, or sperm, sperm, which is from the father, the mitochondria in sperm are in the flagellum or the tail of the, of the sperm, uh, which actually falls off uh, during or upon fertilization. So the sperm don't contribute uh, the mitochondria. They only contribute uh, the nucleus to the zygote, no mitochondria, okay? So, um, and of course, all children are all, they start off as a zygote and they get their mitochond mitochondria entirely from their mother. So uh, if that mitochondria is is mutated, then all of the children um, are going to have that mutated mitochondria, okay? Whereas the father, because the mitochondria um, don't actually end up in the in the zygote, they don't. Have, the fathers cannot pass on um, mitochondrial diseases, okay? So examples to know or be familiar with. First one here is the uh, the most common um, hereditary mitochondrial disease is Leber's hereditary optic neuro neuropathy, so um, or LHON. Okay, and this is a, a defect in uh, complex one the electron transport chain or NADH dehydrogenase, and um, key features are a progressive. Uh, the really the key feature is uh, progressive painless bilateral loss of central vision. That's pretty important. Okay, that's like the key thing, and it usually starts in one eye, and the other eye follows uh, a few weeks or a few months later. And the usual onset is in the third decade of life, which would be in, in their in an individual's twenties, right? Because zero through ten is the first decade, eleven through twenty, second decade, twenty through thirty, or twenty one through thirty is the third decade. And this is due to optic nerve damage. Okay. Um, nerve damage and it starts with central blurriness or cloudiness and it, and it can worsen um, but the peripheral vision um, can remain intact and this uh, tends to affect males more than females now um, sometimes we have a situation called uh, LHON plus which would include uh, peripheral um, neuropathy, neuropathy as well as non-specific myopathy often associated with just muscle weakness uh, but I mentioned just a moment ago that uh, nervous tissue and muscle tissue um, use a lot, make and use a lot of ATP. So when the mitochondria is messed up, then it, 
ATP production is, is not going to be where it needs to be. And so the tissues that would suffer most from that are the ones that depend heavily on ATP. And that would include nervous and muscle tissue. And in the case of uh, LHON, um, we've got a situation of nerve damage, right, is, is, is the key situation here, optic nerve damage specifically, um, that causes that causes this disease. Okay, so um, just pay attention to all these examples. You're going to see a lot of the key features associated with uh, damaged nervous and muscle tissue. Okay, cool. So let's go to the next one. 